Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Carol Dariba. Today I'm gonna be reviewing a wig from this company called Mega Look. Before I get to it, I'm gonna dig in the box and show you guys the things that I got with the hair. They sent me this cute little bag that has all the little stuff inside that I'm gonna be showing you right now. Inside it, I got this pair of eyelashes. I also got this little clip that I can definitely use when I'm doing my hair. I got another clip that I can actually wear in my hair. I also got this edge brush which I can use to lay my edges, you know what I'm saying. Also this little scarf to tie my edges down. And lastly I got a stocking cap. So yeah, you get everything with your wig to get started. There was a note in the box and I wanted you guys to see what it said. It says Mega Look wants to let every woman who use our product feel more proud of herself. So the length of the hair I'll be rocking today is 22 inches. Okay so this wig is the straight 13 by 4 lace frontal wig and the color is just natural just in case you go on the website and you're trying to find it. But I'll definitely link all the details in the description box below, so please check that out. Before putting on the wig, I noticed that I'm going to have to customize it, so that's what I'm doing here. I put it on my mannequin head, and then I'm going to use my foundation to lighten the root of the hair. And this will make it look more natural. So I'm putting the foundation on my hand, and I'm going to use a brush to apply it. This you can do instead of bleaching the knot but if you have time to bleach the knot then go ahead and do it if you feel like you could bleach the knot without messing up your wig go ahead and do it but this saves me so much time so i rather doing it this way i also went ahead and plucked some of the hair from the hairline in the front of the wig because it was very dense and i wanted it to look more natural so yeah i definitely did go ahead and pluck some hair out so this is how I have my hair braided for installing my wig. Usually I would do them much smaller but because I did these as inside cornrows they won't be a problem under my wig. And I did these while sitting in my bed with no mirrors so please don't judge me. I also brush my edges in with some gel and leave them to dry. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply my stocking cap and no, I'm not going to be doing a ball cap. I am not in the mood to do a ball cap today so I'm trying to see if I could get away with, you know, perfecting this wig without doing a ball cap. Now I'm just trying it on to see if I need to do anything more to it before gluing it onto my head. As you can see on the back it still has the lace and if you're putting your wig on you don't want to glue the front down and then realize you didn't cut the lace off in the back. So definitely cut that lace off before gluing it on because it will be much harder to cut it off after you already glue your wig on. Now I'm going to cut the extras off that's flapping over my ear so my wig could fit me perfectly. And by the time I finished cutting this off, the elastic band in the wig was gone with the sides that I cut off. I was not expecting that to happen, but obviously the wig was too big for my head. So I had to cut off the excess amount off of it. And I worked my butt off on this wig until it fit me exactly how I wanted it to. I'm going to be using my got to be glued free spray to hold my wig on today. I do have lace glue that I use sometimes but when I'm not planning on keeping my wig on for too long I go for the got to be glue free spray because it worked perfectly fine. As I apply the spray I brush my hair back to keep it in place as it dries. This will prevent any flyaways from sticking out in places that I don't want it to. Now that it's nicely dry, I'm going to cut the lace off of the wig. This obviously was not one of my easiest wigs to apply. The wig is nice, don't get me wrong, but I put a lot of work into putting this on as opposed to other wigs that I put on. I 
I'm gonna use my Gotta Be Glue Gel to seal the edges of the lace which is lifting. After I finish applying the gel, I'm gonna tie it down and dry it with my blow dryer. Now that it's nicely dry around the edges, I'm going to go ahead and give myself a center part. Before I do anything else, I'm going to lay my edges and this is how I do it. I don't cut my baby hair. I never really see the need for that if I can do it without cutting it because the next time I'm ready to put my wig on, I don't want to have them to deal with. So all I do is take little pieces out and then swoop them right back into the rest of the hair. I've been doing it this way for a very long time and it works perfectly fine for me so why stop now? Now I'm adding some mousse onto the front because I'm going to tie it down and I want it to stay nice and flat when I remove whatever I use to tie it down. I'm adding a little bit of foundation onto my parting and this is totally optional. I see people use concealer. You don't want to use concealer to make it too bright, especially if your skin tone is much darker. It won't look good. I'm using the rapid styling strip to tie it down and I fold it in half to make it much thinner or smaller for the front of my hair. I cut the extra pieces off the back so they won't be in my way when I'm styling my hair. So while the front of my hair slash my edges are drying, I'm going to be working on the rest of my hair. I'm going to straighten it, flatten it down, do whatever I need to do to make it look as good as I want it to. I'm using this hot comb to make it nice and flat at the root and to tame my hair. Now I'm going to take a little sections all over and I'm going to straighten it with my flat iron because I want it to be nice and straight. I use the comb to keep my hair nice and straight while I run the flat iron through it. And I'm going to do this all over until I'm satisfied with the way it looks. And this is the finished look guys. I am so in love with it. I can't even lie. And this is what the sides look like guys and really you don't even need to do the sides if you're doing a center parting but that's only like on my lazy days but I decided to make it look really nice just in case I feel like pulling it back it will still look good and popping. I worked my butt off on this wig so it could look this good I'm not even gonna lie and I'm gonna tell you guys why. Sometimes you buy your hair, it may be pre-plucked or it may not, or it may be pre-bleached or it may not. So make sure when you're buying your wig, you check their description to see what you're buying so you know how much work you're going to have to put into it. And I personally don't have a problem with it because I feel like I'm very good at it. But knowing before you start what you have to work with, that will definitely be a plus. But in the end, with all the time and patience, it turns out pretty good. Definitely make sure you use my discount code to get money off your purchase. I will leave all the details for the wig down below so you could get one for yourself. I want to say a big thank you to Mega Look for sponsoring this video. Please remember to give this video a big thumbs up, I would highly appreciate it. Also, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you will be notified whenever I post a new video. I would also highly appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.